thanks for watching and let's calculate ln over matrix because I'm cool like that. And of course, what you need to do is find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So let's calculate the determinant of a minus lambda i that is 4 minus lambda minus 2, 3 minus 1 minus lambda and that is 4 minus lambda times minus 1 minus lambda and then minus minus 2 times 3 so minus 4 minus 4 lambda plus lambda plus lambda squared and then plus 6 which finally gives us lambda squared minus 3 lambda plus 2 which is not too bad to factor out because it's lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 2 and therefore the eigenvalues are just lambda equals 1 and lambda equals 2. Now for the eigenvectors, here are the details if you're interested. So this is for lambda equals 1 where you find one eigenvector is 2, 3 and for lambda equals 2 you find that one eigenvector is 1, 1. So what does that tell you? It tells you that 4 minus 2, 3 minus 1 can be put into a diagonal matrix. So this equals to the eigenvectors 2, 3, 1, 1 times matrix of eigenvalues 1, 0, 0, 2 times matrix of eigenvectors inverse. So again, this is called diagonalization and is a useful tool for converting a non-diagonal matrix into a diagonal one. Now, here's the cool thing. Whatever you do to this matrix, essentially you just do to the diagonal part, which is also true for ln. So if you want to calculate ln of this, 4 minus 2, 3 minus 1, it's still 2, 1, 3, 1. But now, ln of 1, 0, 0, ln of 2, times the inverse of this matrix, 2, 1, 3, 1, inverse. Okay. And in particular here, the ln is nicely simplified. So this becomes 2, 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, ln of 2. And then for this inverse, it's 1 over the determinant, so 1 over 2 minus 3, which is 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1. You flip the diagonal terms, 1, 2, and you do minus for the anti-diagonal ones. And then essentially what you get is the following matrix. So ln of a is this, and then just calculate this, so 2, 1, 3, 1. So this row just becomes 0, how nice, and then we get 3 ln of 2, and then minus 2 ln of 2, and then we get 0, and then 3 ln of 2, 0, minus 2 ln of 2, 0, 3 ln of 2, how nice, and then 0, minus 2 ln of 2. And there you go, this is ln of a. And again, what is this useful for? I have no idea. This is just math fun, if you wish. But I did find a really cool application of ln of a rotation, which either I've done a video on this or I will do a video in the future. And also, you may ask, but what is really the ln of a matrix? It's kind of the inverse function of matrix exponentials. So if you take E of ln of a matrix, you should find A back. And if you do ln of E to the A, you should find A back as well. And E has a legit definition in terms of power series. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not just making this up. This does exist. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.